Hey everybody, this is Devin with Homeschool House Calls. Let me turn on my, um, make sure my mic is um, going today. Sometimes it's not. Um, anyway, this is Devin with Homeschool House Calls. Tonight is our Tuesday Homeschool Mom Talk. We're talking about how I schedule my elementary student. I'm going to admit that how I schedule her is a little bit different than what I scheduled the big kids. You know, if you remember, I've got five, four all together, like stair steps. And then I have my little surprise down here that's by herself. But anyway, let's talk about how I schedule. Um, remember last week we talked about how I schedule myself and how I do a block system. And um, Elysia has a two hour block in there between. Let's see. Let me go. I have notes. I have notes. So last week we talked about my schedule and how I schedule into blocks and um, I'll post a link to the YouTube video. It's now on YouTube um, of how I schedule my day. Um, I'm a homeschool mom. I'm a working mom. I have five kids. Life's busy. So I did that. So when I was talking about Lisey's block, people had questions. So I'm going to talk about how I schedule her. So in my day, she has a two hour block that I call her block. She is that time frame. It's nine to 11 a.m. It's all about her. So what do I do in that block? Um, when you have a block, you know, you have a list of things you want to do in that block. I don't necessarily do them all in order. When my four kids were little and I would schedule my school day, I had everything scheduled out because they were little and I had one computer. So if anybody was using the computer for everything, I kind of had to have it really tight. This block system's not as heavy. It is I have kind of like a mental list of, well, I need a little bit better than that some days. But I have a list of things I want to accomplish in that two hours. But the main thing is it is all about her. I try really hard. I'm not good. Okay. I'm very techy. I love my phone, but I try not to pick it up during that time that I'm trying to give her my time. So some of the things, let me see, I moved down my notes. So some of the things I do with her and y'all ask questions if y'all got them, because I may start talking too fast. If nobody talk, yeah, you know, if you're talking to me, I've got to slow down. So here's some of the things that I do with her during that two hours breakfast. Um, usually she's a little bit um, cuddly in the morning. She wants to cuddle before she eats. We'll cuddle. We'll talk. We'll, you know, start our day. It's kind of a gentle start. Then I'll make breakfast. During breakfast, she might play a game on her iPad. She might not. She might watch. Um, she likes this um, YouTuber named Jacob that's all about animals. She might watch that. Then I'll get her, you know, her. I'll make breakfast. Then we come down, eat, and then we turn off anything, whatever's going on, and we start school. Her school, but the basic thing is that two hours, she's got my attention. It's about her. I'm giving her my attention because later in the day I work. And so I try to, you know, where she feels like we're connected. So anyway, so school. Right now, her school consists of American language series. It is math and phonics. For my younger elementary students, I don't add anything else. Um, that may not be a popular opinion, but I'm a mom of five. We've homeschooled 18 years. It works. They do not back around. So my main goal for those early years is math and phonics. I want them to have ma their math to be strong. I want their phonics to be strong. That's about all we do. In fact, I'm going to share the screen and I'll show you what I use. That does not mean you have to use it. It's just sometimes I get questions. So I thought you'd want to see what it looks like. Let's see over here. Let me find it. Here we go. There we go. This is what it looks like. Um, this is the, actually the set I bought. It's only 139. That's a whole year. Some of my kids even use this for two years because they were, um, one of my kids had, um, she's a little sickly when she was young. And so we went slower. So, um, it has phonics, as you can see right there, phonics, it has spelling and writing and vocabulary. And then it's not on, it doesn't picture it here, but it also has math. These down here are the readers. So you're getting everything you need to know, plus the teacher stuff. Every Everything is in this price. Uh, let's see. I don't see anything down there on the bottom. 
I mean, it comes with workbooks there, everything. And it even comes with a math. So it works. And honestly, I'll tell you the truth. It only takes, it only takes us an hour or less. I'm mean, really probably less than an hour to get that done. Math. She's really good at math. Really good at phonics. She's probably one of my, one of my best. Don't let the other ones hear you, but um, don't let them hear me. But she really, it's, I've used it with all five and it works really well when they finish the program, they're reading about at a second grade level, almost third grade, somewhere around there. Um, one thing people don't realize is after you finish, finish phonics is you've got to work on fluency. So when she finishes this, she'll finish this month. Um, we will spend the rest of the time going back over the readers and rereading the readers to practice um, her reading. So that's what she does for school. So what does she do after this block? Um, after this block, we're working on lunch and dinner. We're with, with the teens. I have, you know, I have two teens. They work um, their school. They're online this year. She plays, she talks. Um, so that's the main thing we're doing is getting down. Um, I only cook two meals a day breakfast and I don't really always cook that for everybody. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And we cook dinner, which is also, I double it. So there's enough for dinner and lunch. Nick works out of the house. So he's not coming in later. We'll usually eat the bigger meal for um, an, a late lunch, about one, two, three, sometimes depends on the day, how soon people wake up. That's all I do. Um, it is not the traditional way of me meals, but um, then we have the leftovers later in the night if anybody's hungry. But that works for us because, yeah, like I said, he's working out of the house and um, I'm working out of the house. So there's not a, you know, we do it lunchtime. That's kind of our time. After the uh, so after lunch, it is my work time and she has some fun activities planned. I'm getting ready to set it up in a different way. She's getting older. She's a little bit more self-sufficient. And I'll, I'll show y'all what I'm going to do with her. Actually, here. I actually pulled them off the shelf so I can show you too. But let me show you what I'm going to get. I'm going to set up an area. We have a school closet. We've had it for years. We've used it for years. But it's getting to the point where people are no longer using that. As much um, my teens are online, they're not really using their shelves there. So we're, I'm going to clean it out. And let me let me share this and show you. I'm going to get, um, I don't even know what to call these things. I guess plastic drawers. That's all I can come up with. <laughs> that's all I can come up with. I'm going to buy a set, um, probably this last one on the, this one on the, the bag, on the last one, because I think this will fit on a shelf between two shelves. And but I really don't know. I might get a bigger one. I'm not 100% sure yet. But my plan for that, let me unshare real quick, real quick. My plan for that is to put um, each drawer will have a different activity. So she's able to go through that after lunch. So I have stuff for that. I already have stuff that she does. This is just going to organize it differently so that um, she can get it herself and she doesn't have to think or ask anybody else. So here's one thing. This is an invitation to play. We've had that workshop and I'll, I'll put that workshop. I'll tag that down so you can find it too. So this is called invitation to play. And there's a bunch of little stuff in here. They're natural. It's Montessori, kind of Montessori based. And she has lots of these little, this little kit. There's sticks, there's wood, lots of natural stuff. And then they're all set up. And she can play like <laughs> this little sign. It says caution barren area. Um, there's another little boy like they're going camping. These are the biggest ones. We've gotten smaller ones. Let me, where's that bear? Most of the time when I've got them, I can't find it. Where is he? He is. I should have opened it up. It's hard to open it up and show you everything. See, look. So it's got all these little parts. Let me see. So it's got all these little parts that she can play and use her imagination. That is set up. I have another thing is called um, invita it's invitation to create. It's paper products. I'll have that there. Um, that'll be in one drawer. Then another drawer we can have um, the invitation to create is what it's called. That has stuff like um, little sets. That you, you make yourself. It's like making a monster. and You put it on like a little food tray. You know the food trays we had when we were kids at the, you know, at the public school? 
um, has little things there and then I'll have a glue stick there so that you're at and then it has paper so it's real nice and neat another thing I put out is um, this is fine motor skills paint by stickers so they're using that pincher grasp to take the, the stickers off and then it makes um, let's see there's some pictures back there what they look like so you can make different pictures um, here's one that she, she actually did this I know it looks there she made that so that's one one thing that she has in there another thing I'm going to do is show me a story there are a lot of little crafts in here and um, projects we'll set this up so that she can she can work on some of this like cut and tail it has different stuff so you just sit it in there and have it where she she'll be able to pull it out herself while I'm working and the big kids are you know won't have to come up with you know they won't have to come up with it so let me go back to that how are you um, sometimes you can have extra phonics like if we're working on something this we um this is just on my shelf we never really use this um, but I mean you can have extra worksheets and stuff like whatever she's doing I mean you know whatever she whatever sound she's working on I can have extra in there um, she li she likes sticker books as y'all can tell she likes sticker books she can also have um, in there I have some extra books like you know and the thing is, is as she's doing those drawers she's earning um, laptop time like every kid out there she likes to play Minecraft and with her sisters and stuff like that but I don't want um, unobserved laptop time can become not what I want it to be I like her using the iPad I like her using the learning apps but the teens don't always oversee it and she is six and sometimes she if she like today there was something that she knew I didn't really want her to do and she kind of went and hid you know that's kind of normal you have to pay attention and but when I'm working and I'm consulting I try to give the mama my undivided attention and so I kind of have to have things for her to do so that's something that I've noticed lately so I'm setting up those those drawers so that she has something new and sometimes if she likes it sometimes fine motor skills I'm really big it's like in that set I don't really do the vocabulary and handwriting too much until after they get phonics done we have lots of fine motor skills so I mean the stickers are fine motor skills um, the invitation to play has play-doh in it I keep a set of foam it's actually called not foam it's actually play-doh but it's like not like play-doh it's softer and then when it hardens it becomes like a foam animal and it's permanent so I, I have stuff like that things for her to use her hands um, stress balls things to strengthen hands so that when she does start handwriting after we finish phonics which is when we'll start spelling and we'll add more language arts in um, then she's able to use her hands and do you know do what she needs to do but those are the things that we do here with her let me make sure let's see what else did I, oh some other things I was looking at my notes other things that we do is sometimes you know Nick works from home so if he's in the yard doing some stuff I'm working on um, he has a home repair he does two things he does home repair and he does eBay if he's working on home repair stuff then she may follow him around the house around the yard and um, which I love because she loves to be out there he actually bought her tools so we're gonna start some tinkering this year where she can like pull some computers apart and learn how tools work because kids are interested in that kind of stuff she has a little toolbox and she loves it she's got a little a pink hammer and she's got like a wrench set so that's some of the stuff we do but I'm going to get the drawers and have it better set up so that she can go get it herself and then she's not dependent on the teens to get it or mama to get it I can just say hey did you finish your drawers you know it's kind of like I told the kids one day um, I told my teens not too long ago that I used to send them to clean their room so that I could have some peace so it's like when she, I feel like she's antsy at while I'm trying to work and she's antsy I can say hey did you drew, do drawer one do you did you do the drawer two so that she can go through those in the afternoon and keep herself busy while mom is busy but anyway so let me see make sure I got all my um all my my notes yeah but my favorite is when she follows Nick around but anyway do you have any other questions we um I think somebody asked that I go through the teen block 
um, next week. We might talk about what they do when they're when they're learning because you know they're online this year, and I have been very impressed with what they're using. And uh, we can go through that next next week. But let me know you have any questions of everything I went through. I know I, I'm seeing people start popping up. Y'all, y'all are not chatty tonight. I know you're watching. I don't see you. I have to always tell y'all that. People say, oh, does you, do you see me? No, I don't see you. I just have a little eye over here that shows me that people are watching live. Um, just gives me a number. I don't see anybody. I wouldn't want to peek. That's a weird. That would be weird. What would be weird? I wouldn't like that. Um, anyway, so that is what I do with my elementary student. Now, it was different when I had four littles. Four littles, I was a lot less. I was more stressed. I think I'm enjoying Lisey a lot, a lot, because I'm, I'm I don't know. I, first time around, I mean, it's stressful to have four little ones. I get it. Um, it was hard, but it's doable. You can do it. It's just I never sat. <laughs> I never sat down. Um, we used the kitchen table and I would go around like math. We would go around. I would go around in circles helping each kid with math while other ones were doing their math. And then um, we moved on to language arts and it was the same thing every day. That's what we did every day. But um, I'm enjoying Lisa. I'm enjoying doing her school with her. But anyway, I'm going to let y'all go for the night. Let me know what you need next week. I think we'll go over the teens. Um, we're still talking about scheduling this month. Um, you can find the the past workshops on the YouTube channel. I'll post them in the below so that you can find them. But other than that, I'll see y'all soon. Bye, guys.